Greetings everybody. How are you guys all going today? Hope you're well out there. Rubber and I, we're on a bit of a mission today. The days are getting shorter and the nights are getting longer and the sun's getting a bit colder as well. With all this cold weather we're having. You know what that means? March. March is the season for the start of boil-ups. Yes, indeed. Boil-ups. Ooh. And Rubber and I are on a bit of a mission. Well, I am anyway. She's just on a mission to cruise around. Here she comes. Rubber. Hey. Hello. Say hello, everybody. Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey. Come on, come. Stay. Come stay. Say hello. There she is. Oh, rubber. Autumn is here. And it's time for our boil ups. And I'm here at a watercress spot. And we're going to get us some watercress today. I haven't had a feed of watercress since last year, man. And I'm hanging out for a feed of watercress. And I'll just show you this little patch here that we can pick. Check this little patch out. Only a small one. That water looks actually really cold. There's some lovely watercress in there, which we can pick. Yay, choice. Check that out. We're going to be picking from, so shoes off. We're going to get in here and we're going to grab a sub watercress. Ooh, that water's freezing cold. Use the old pack and spin bags. They're pretty good for that. What are the blowers around here for? The blowers hanging around, look. Ooh, I haven't had a water quest for ages. Check that out. Lovely. Sweet watercress. Lovely sweet watercress there, look. Yum. I think I only had one watercress bought up last year. Oh no, I didn't. So it doesn't take long and you pick yourself a nice little handful. What'd you pay for that in the shop? Blowies, look. Rubber, check the blowies out, bro. I'm going to enjoy picking this. We're going to have a nice feed. Nice feed of watercress. Right, where's my bag gone? Where is it? Here it is. It is. Pretty handy, old pick and spin bags. Handy for a lot of things. The old modern day kit there. The modern day kit there is the old pick and spin bag. That one little handful, been here two minutes. Definitely worth the drive coming out here. See, all nice stuff too. Just snaps in the fingers. Very delicious. Nice watercress here, my friends. It's a nice watercress here, check that out. Oh, yeah.
Anyway, I'm going to carry on and pick my water caress. You guys have seen enough picking of this so far, so I've almost got half a bag there. I'm going to pick two bags. A little guard dog over here. Good girl, rubber. Hey, all right. She's a bit hot. Here we are. We've got our two bags of water caress here. I'll get out of the shadow. Yeah, two bags of lovely fresh water caress. There's quite a bit of watercress in there, it's quite chock a block. It's pretty heavy. That'll fill a nice big pot up and have enough for seconds and thirds. And I've got some there for Mike if he wants a bag of watercress for him. Baba, right, that's it, easy as. So while we're here and using up our petrol, because it's March, I noticed we are parked that the apples are ready. We've got our tasty as organic. Garlic apples just up on the hill there. You guys have seen in previous videos I've done here getting watercress, you've seen that. I always go over there and grab some apples off the tree, the ones that I can anyway, because they're up pretty high. Yeah, I've been coming to this place here for years. We have to drive most of the time. Except maybe winter. Winter's quite hard. Hard to get watercress up here in winter time. It's just it doesn't grow too well in winter, so the best time to get watercress now would be March. February, March, April. Be the best time to get watercress or may before the frosts come anyway i'm stoked man we got ourselves two bags of watercress Robo, are you happy with that she's happy i think she wants to swim though but there's nowhere here for her to swim in here it's hard to get in there right, so here's the apple tree now they're not very big apples there's some nice ones up here, look. Trouble is we're on the bank here, see, on a bit of a hill, so you have to climb the tree. Let's try and get one up here. That, that one looks good. There you go. Those are the apples that we have here. These are really tasty. Oh, look at that, see? Spray-free organic as. Pick some back for Aaron. Some big ones here, Robert. Is that one alright? Oh, yeah. That's uh, alright, look. Choice. Let's have a bit of a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. You can't beat eating fruit like that straight off the tree. Check all those apples out. Doesn't get any fresher than that, does it? Straight from the tree and eating it. Not sitting in the shop there for like three or four weeks. Hmm. That's a nice one there, look. That's a good one. Just a few here. See how the bank is just down here, so they're pretty hard to get. Gotta have long arms. Good one, that's probably the best one. Check that one out in my hand. That's a good apple. Good apple for here too. That's a nice apple look. Woohoo, yeah boy, that's a big bugger. Check that one out. That one you can almost sell on the shop. But there's our apples. Yeah, there's some nice apples in there, isn't there? Check those out. Nice little feast today. Here we go. Ooh.
Oh, it's just got earrings bump here at the moment, and I gave it some watercress. I was like, oh, who wants the other bag of watercress? Like, it's pretty thick, thick bag of watercress. I was like, who else wants the watercress? And then they had my sister, she lives in Hawaii, so I uh, messaged her this morning, and yep, she'll be into it. So she's going to share that with her uh, daughters and her mokopuna, her grandkids. And I've just given Erin's mum, she said, do you want some oysters? So she's got some oysters there, look. Oysters, and giving her some watercress, and giving her some watercress, and some apples from yesterday, so she'll be happy as. See you later. You're welcome. Enjoy. See you, Aaron. Happy mother-in-law. Happy mother-in-law, so. There we go. Just gonna sear these. Sear them. The carrots, potatoes, and there's kamakamo. There's vegetables. Oh, and I got a kumano as well. I had to buy this this year. This kumano. This was four dollars ninety-five or four eighty-five a kilo. The kumano. Four eighty-five. I didn't grow any this year. Had no room in my garden for it. So four eighty-five a kilo from Pick and Spend. All right, here's our pork. It's gonna sear it. I'm gonna pick the pork chunk there as well. And we're gonna sear it. Check out a watercress. That is so clean. I don't even have to give it much of a wash at all. Because that water was pretty clean yesterday when I was picking it. Gonna give it a really just a short, quick clean. But basically, that watercress is looking pretty good. So I gave Erin's mum a good hand full out of that bag, and you got a big pile there. And we've also got this still this pile here in this bag here. Look, still pretty dense of watercress. Just there, that mean. Ooh. Looking forward to having it poured up tonight. There's our vegetables, there it is, there's our kumara, some sweet corn, some kamo kamo, freshly picked today, some of the oil for neve, some carrots, there's our watercress here, so we're going to take the meat out first, there we're going to put the watercress on, we're going to put the potatoes on there and the carrots and put the kumara on last with the, uh, with the kamo kamo, because this cooks really quickly and goes soft quick, so potatoes take the longest and the carrots and we'll put the watercress there and we'll put the meat on top that the will boil down to quite a bit Yeah. 
it out. Just laying all our other bits of food on the top, our meat on the top of these sausages. We're going to put our kamokamo on over here. Right, let's check our board up. You can hear it's boiled up and in the way. Oh, check that out. Check that. Kai's ready, get ready, here we go. Check that out. It's our first point up of the year, and I think this is a good one to start the year off with a nice late summer, early autumn. Boiler, watercress boiler. The watercress is in there, it's just down the bottom somewhere. But what do you guys think about that? Take some of that watercress out from the bottom. There you go, that's my kai. I'm pretty happy with pretty happy with that little plate for there. Here from Pack and Spend. Just pork ones are quite tasty. Delicious watercress. Very sweet. Yeah, there we are. Tasty. Fat there. I'm on the taste test. It's a good focus shot, that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My first, or our first, board up for the year, watercress board up. Yeah, got some nice summer veggies there with it, especially with the corn and the kamo kamo. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you're getting out there for a gather yourself for some tasty watercress. 
see you all in the next video. Take it easy. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. All right, just going off to see my dad. Couple off some boiler. Some watercress boiler up there from last night. Some sweet corn, watercress, come on, come on. Carrot, some butter. So some apples that I foraged. With the watercress and also some tomatoes that are in my garden. Last of my tomatoes are nearly finished. Day two boiler. Day two. Just reheating it. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Something just there, and some big fat pieces of pork. Most of the vegetables are pretty munted, but look what I found there. Nice piece of fatty pork. Definitely go on my plate. Oh, go on my plate. Ooh.